Now we're going to demonstrate the optic eye function of the Roland GX24 cutter. This optic eye will read contour cut lines around your printed image, particularly in this case off of a, our opaque transfer that we call inkjet for darks. Now this is a paper that is printed out of a standard inkjet printer that you probably already have. The Optic Eye will read the contour cut lines and trim perfectly around the printed image. And that eliminates any hand cutting and gives you a very professional result. We will begin by simply importing a bitmap file. Now the Cut Studio software that we're doing all of our work in, or this is the same software that comes with your cutter, imports two different files. A BMP, which is a JPEG, and an EPS, which is an Illustrator file, and that's a vector file. We're going to import a JPEG because that's what we can print onto our printer. And we simply go to Import, which is found here on the top toolbar. We'll go to Import, and I'm going to import a relatively difficult design called Mustang. It's fairly detailed, but will demonstrate the abilities of the contour cutting very well. I simply click on Mustang, and imports the file. You don't see the entire file now, so I will go ahead and move to Fit so you can see. We'll now go to Properties and just see how large this design is. Now I'm using an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, so I want to size this down just a little bit to make sure that it stays within uh, the parameters of our crop marks in paper. So I'm going to change where the width here says 7.968. I'm simply going to change it to 6. That should do a good job for us. And I'll say OK. Now it's sized down to what I believe will be a good size for us to print onto a t-shirt. At this point, I want to get the crop marks on my page, and that's simply done by going to File, Print and Cut. When I click on that, the crop marks automatically show up on the screen. I'll bring this down just a little bit so you can see. There he is. Now you notice that I'm outside of my crop mark, so all I need to do is just click on my image and bring it down to where it looks like it will nest comfortably between the crop marks. These registration marks will come out black on your page, but you notice that there are crosshairs on each one. And these are the lines that the optic eye will read to um, align the cut line to the printed image. We are now ready to create the contour cut lines. I now go up to Object. Now Object is a tab that you'll use quite often in this process and it is found up here on the very top toolbar next to Format. I will click on Object and down to Image Outline. Image Outline now gives me a preview of the image that we have. Now notice that there are light portions and dark portions. This program is going to try to put a cut line any time that the white transitions to the black. So what we want to do is, because I want the center of this image to be all printed, what I want to do now is darken this image. And I can do this by going here. There's alignment image density. And it goes from light to dark. I will simply click on the slider and darken that image up all the way to the right. Now, largely what I have is a completely filled interior so that it will now only create a cut line around the outside of the entire image. At this point, I just go to Extract Contour Cut Lines, and it simply does that for me. It has put them on, and I say OK, and then this preview should show up on my screen. Right now, what we have is a contour cut line. Everything that you see in blue is going to be the line that the cutter will cut for you. Because it's not a perfect world and I want to ensure that I don't show any white around the outside of this design, I'm going to do something here by going back up to Object and I want to create an offset. Basically what I'm going to do is chase that line inside so it cuts just into a little bit of the ink image. So I will go to Offset, and I'll get the opportunity to choose Inside, 
or outside. In this case, I want to go inside, as is already selected. And I want to offset that in just a bit. So in this case, I know from previous experience, about two hundredths of an inch will be a, a good amount for us to go. So I'm going to key in 0 0.02. When I say OK, that creates a second line just inside the last one. What I'll need to do at this point is zoom in just a little bit somewhere on this line so that I can see both lines. I want to delete the outside line because I won't need that one. So I will simply click next to it and once it's highlighted blue in this program, if it's highlighted blue, that is the line that you're dealing with. I'm simply going to delete that. Now I, there's a simple button up here on the top right that says move. That just puts your image right back down into the um, bottom left corner to make sure that we've got everything uh, using the maximizing our paper. And I will hit the fit button which is next beside it so I won't have to zoom back out. Now notice that when I hit the move button I've taken the image into the crop mark. I'm still okay. All I need to do is just move that over so that it fits nicely. You can edit this at any time until you print. Once you print your image you want to leave it just as it is before you cut. Our lines are now contoured in and ready to trim around the, the image. What we'll be doing next is going ahead and going to the uh, print key found right up here on the very top right next to cutting and we will send that image to the cutter I'm sorry to the printer we're going to print the image now the image that shows up on our paper will simply be the ink portion or the color portion of the horse that we've uh, we have on our screen here once we go to the cutter and send the same file to the cutter it's only going to read the vector art which is the blue line around the image so at this point we will go ahead and print this to our printer I choose print and you'll notice that I have a Lexmark 510 here I'm not promoting this printer at all but it is more one of the more inexpensive printers on the market any pr inkjet printer will do this is probably about a hundred dollar printer so you don't need to make a huge investment to get a nice result I simply go to OK and it's going to print that image for you. 